The Death Troopers mark. The tank is heavily damaged. The Imperial fought the Imperial today. Who would side will win? Sword of Vader on the side of Critic. This is Team 2 Bananas in Double T. Come with a deck profile. We got first place last week with a uh, Broly leader. Probably not the one you're expecting. Yeah. Um, I showed up last week. 10, 15, 20 minutes before the tournament, and my good buddy Paul over here, I was like, yo, what should I do? And we both decided on trying this. The black what? Movie. That's it's, a leader? It's been, yeah, I spent a good time in the theater enjoying, you know, nostalgia, realizing that it wasn't as good as I remember, but you know what? <laughs> I still got to see Vegeta puss out, so we're cool. <laughs> um, but... Uh, it's been sitting in my binder, so I wanted to try it out. I like, I love Broly. So what does that leader do? So he's. <laughs> so when he attacks a leader card, I can essentially crit myself one, take one card from my life, put it into my discard, and then I can mill the up to three cards from my deck to the discard. And if I do all of those, then my opponent discards one card. So I have to essentially lose out four cards. But it says up to three. So. It says up to so. Uh, you know, going against uh, Janemba, then that's stupid. <laughs> um, but essentially, the whole thing with the deck is just discard. And he's an old leader, so essentially, uh, awakens for less draw two. It's not bad. Then the other side is what I love Double the most. Double or So when he swings out, um, draw a card. Then I can send one of my battle cards, non-black battle cards, to the discard. Um, and my opponent discards a card. It's not bad. So essentially I'm utilizing all of my battle cards to the best of their ability and then uh, sacking them off to, you know, Burly. Because second ability is one that actually worked out a lot. I can discard a card from my hand to KO any, uh, any of my opponent's battle cards. That's pretty good. It was nifty. awesome. Levi's shaking his head like, no. I didn't even really play against you. Yeah, yeah. That's actually pretty good. I didn't realize he had such a good spot removal. The only thing is just barrier, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I have eight awaken cards, self awakening. I can cons consistently awaken turn two, uh, turn three, no problem. Um, critting, so uh, denying my opponent resources. Everybody know what he does, but pretty much swing out, take a life, plus ten k and crit. Sorry. And critical. So dang, fifteen uh, k, one draw, crit. draw a card. Um, I bumped into one problem, which was Crisis Crusher, so uh, that sucked, but I still have uh, Infernal Emperor Frieza. Um, once again, just comes in, take a life, and then later on, I can sack them. I can sack any of these guys off to Broly. They've done their job. I don't need them anymore. That's hella nifty. The real MVP of the deck is actually this card right here from the Burly starter deck, the late, the recent one. What does it do? Um, no one knows what it does. <laughs> I hate you so much. No one does. I've Maybe. never seen anyone play this. I have to read all these cards. Um, <laughs> so she lie. Um, essentially what she does, she comes in play, she's a one drop. Uh, she comes in play, I draw a card. That's pretty good. And then active main, this is the cool part, this is what I like the most. Pay one green and one other energy. Choose up to one green Frieza army card with energy two or less from my deck and play it. And that's not a once per turn. It's so not a once per turn. You're telling me I can do that like three times in one turn? Got like you will occur, so I can do that that's as crazy, many times Batman. as I have the energy to. And depending on the situation, I grab uh, one of two other things. I'll grab either uh, Limo or Chilai the... Um, the special rare from this limo can be good no one ever plays it nobody <laughs> ever plays it and i never hard casted it really except for like one or two occasions me. um when i really needed it but limo what he does is when he comes into play and i have chili on board my opponent discards a card so if I, ch I can essentially cheat him out and then if i have the energy i can hard cast him no problem it's all just discard then I can swing with him and then sack him off to Broly, discard another card. That's so crazy. Essentially like minus two, minus three cards. If they combo out just to protect the damage, then that's minus another card in hand. So it's Damn. all just discard and resource. And then Shilai. The beautiful. She's so sexy. Uh, once per turn when one of my opponent's battle cards is KO'd, they discard a card. So this all works in tandem oh, with my leader. So depending on the situation, I can search out this, use my leader effect, pop it, they lose a battle card, and KO something. And another cool thing that I use is also this surprise attack. Frieza. That's a surprise. So then everything kind of flows together. Uh, it gets cloggy. If I have more than two, I like two. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, two is a good number. 
before uh, the deck was being made and the tournament happened, within five minutes I added this engine, the Broly engine. I had Whoa. no idea what to do uh, with it, but you know what, the deck really just Batman. put itself together. I love Broly. Broly, Goku Black, and Majin Buu. Those are my three guys, so whenever a deck comes out, that's my thing. Um, I have a lot of Broly cards, so I thought I might as well just put them to use. So what do these two Broly's do? Because no one has ever really seen those in their lives. Alright, let me just start up the chain. So this Broly comes in play. Everybody knows him. He cheapens the cost for Mega, evolution. Mega days. And then when he comes in play, the opponent just chooses one of their battle cards to KO. Does not go around uh, barrier for a bunch of scrubs who still think that way, but it does not. So that's kind of the thing. And that's key. Because Frick those scrubs. That's what this Broly does. This Broly does the same thing. He can evolve over another Broly for three green. I normally either just hard cast him or if I'm really desperate, I'll evolve over this one for just one because this one cheapens the cost. Uh, when he comes in play, my opponent KOs one of their battle cards. If they do not, and my leader is a Broly battle card, they have to discard two cards. What? So there have been a lot of situations where they would have, I would force them by using my leader to KO and having Chilai on board, having them discard, lose a battle card, they would only be left with the barrier, and then I'd bring him out, forcing them to discard two more cards. That's bananas. It's bullshit. That's just crazy right there. Yeah, I hit my team lead with this. Yeah. And he was sad. <laughs> it's a much better deck, but it happens. <laughs> now this guy, this guy can't be that good, right? So no one I ever have, plays a seven drop Broly. So, so I have two high end Broly's. Let me start with this one first. He's my favorite. Uh, evolve for OG. five, but essentially with the other two Broly's, it's evolved for three green. Three green, thirty k double strike. It can't have an effect after that. Uh, well, <laughs> motherfucker. When he comes in play, um, I choose two cards at random from my opponent. Wait, you choose? At yes. Random? None of this is my opponent's choice at this point. I do it. Yeah. It's my decision. Mine. <laughs> There's no way. These these cards have, why is, these cards are broken. Then nobody uses them because it's, why? It's a very niche strategy. Niche? You got first yeah. place. I, well, it took a lot of people by surprise. It took me by surprise. Now what is this? The seven drop do? And oh, the seven man. drop is the most recent one. I love you, Paul. <laughs> uh, I played him only on very few occasions, but essentially what he does is he's got, he, he evolves for five, same thing, so over these two Broly's it'll be essentially just three green energy, or two green and one random. He's got crit and barrier. A random energy? <laughs> uh -huh. When he swings out, he's got this once per turn auto, I burst five, so I mill myself five, and I can do one of two things depending on my opponent's hand size. If their hand size is less than uh, three or less he restamps so he can swing again that's fun but normally with this game a lot of people always have you know four more and that's where that second ability comes in which is the one that i like the most when i burst and they have four more cards in hand i look at their hand and i discard one card of any card of my choice from it i get to look at resources i get to look at what's in their hand and i can just decide accordingly um yeah, so it comes in clutch on occasion when I bring him out. And the fact that he's a uh, crit and barrier really helps. Uh, sometimes some people try to pop him, and sometimes it just really doesn't work. The crit also helps a lot. I really like it. Um, I already went over the surprise attacks. Two East Kai for giving double strike. Double strike primarily for either the Gohan or the Broly or just to apply a lot of pressure. And then the, fr the freeze as well. Oh. Normally, the strategy is I'll pop with leader, Chilai will make them discard, surprise attack will come out, surprise attack will swing, I'll give them double strike, crit, they'll either take it, and then I'll use my leader, I'll swing with it, pop the Frieza, he's done his job, and they discard another card. That's really good. Um, I run two Shenrons, figure of majesty. That's nice. A lot of the main Chilai discard engine yeah. is two energy or less. So with Shenron, I can easily just recycle and bring them back. Or I can uh, draw a card, untap two energy, utilize the two energy with the one drop Chilai, and bring out Limo or the Beautiful. Yeah, that's good. So that's kind of, everything kind of just flows together really well. Um, so why this super combo, the four or less one? Because my leader's black, and a lot of people forget that he's black. <laughs> that's pretty That's much true, it. I wanted yeah. the basic 1K. Didn't people get... side the Haru Haru's against you? Yeah, people did side Haru Haru's Who was it? Name that person, please. Uh, the 
person right. running up. Deck. You know, I'm not gonna do that. Bardock's crew? Yeah, Bardock's crew, but it's fine. Everybody Ouch. gets. Shaylin. <laughs> be nice. Everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody gets confused because Broly. Just, um, Hang on. But going back to it, the main reason why I use it because I can get myself to four life pretty easily and it's a basic uh, 10k combo. I'm not tripping too hard about it. I don't want to rely on sparking to do it, I don't want to rely on anything else. The old super combos, you know, if my life is four, then I get to draw a card and get the 10k, but this is a flat 10k. That's good. Uh, power burst, uh, just free negate. All free negates are really good and easy. I have no target really, but I tap out a lot yeah. to get all this stuff going. So I want to make sure that after I either put my opponent on the defense, while also holding some defense on myself, on my own. So that's it. And then I have three overrun. Now three gasp. I know, right? I only ever really use one of these two in a game, and then I'll finish off with Nero. Um, I never really uh, hit all three. Both, all three. No, it's it's one or the other. If I'm like, if I have two, and that the situation it. presents itself, I'll go with three. This game is a little faster. Or, or the board wipe, but it depends on the situation, and we all know what he does. So. So is there any changes that you'd make to it at all, or is it perfect the way it is? Absolute trash. It shouldn't win ever. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know. I built it. Are they perfect all. ratios? Built Say it. the perfect ratios. Perfect ratios. You heard it. So whoever keeps commenting, perfect ratios. Perfect ratios. <laughs> Fuck your couch. In my opinion, each deck is to their own. Everybody has their own unique liking. Nope. Your way is the perfect liking. Fuck them. <laughs> um, but my matchups were against... Oh shit. I ran up against a vanilla coup Gogeta. with Gogeta. So I had to go up against our team Captain. One, I had to so go up good. against Shenron Gogeta. <laughs> and that was my only loss because I got s smacked by at all cost Vegeta. But if, he didn't do, but if he didn't do it, then I was going to have him next turn anyway, so I forced him to do it. Um, round one, I get against Frieza Prison in the most fucked up thing ever. You beat him? Oh, was it? Who else runs Frizz Prison? Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, your girlfriend. Yeah, well, that's a movie. Did you show video. her who daddy that's was? That's a video for another time. Um, and then. Uh, Janimba. One, two, three. And then. Paul's Janimba. I up against first place, Mr. Undefeated, and now it was Janimba. Stop it. <laughs> What did, I, what did I say, Paul? You know, if I win this, what happens, right? You fucked all the bracket. <laughs> I fucked the bracket. I went from one loss. I, I knocked first place undefeated. Yeah, I went undefeated to second place. Yeah, and I took that spot from him, which was the shocking spot thing. So that's pretty much it. I don't he hit me with that shocking death really ball. care for Sai or anything yet. I'm still working on that if I want to continue on with it. But everything's week by week, so that's pretty much it. Just Levi, by the way. <laughs> Love that well, there you go. Don't forget to like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. Team Two Bananas signing out. Boy. <laughs> Boy.